Hi guys, if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll notice that I'm always mentioning these lock top snack containers with lids. Well, these come from the Dollar Tree, so of course they're only a dollar a piece, but I think they are so amazing and useful. And what's awesome is that these come in two packs. So that makes each set only 50 cents per container. How awesome is that? And what I really, really like about this is that the locks are really big, so they're super easy for students to use, children, adults. Most people can open these with no problems. And I've never had a student come up to me saying they could not open it or close it themselves. So, you know, that's saying something considering I teach first grade. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the many different ways that you can use these lock top snack containers with okay, lids. Let's start with something as basic as these push pins. Now I use push pins at home, at school, in the office. And trust me, when I use them, I usually have to scoop them up. And because of the pointed edges, I get poked a lot, seriously, and it hurts. So what I figured out is that instead of having to scoop them in my hand and carry them wherever I have to go, it's easy to just throw them inside of one of these snack top containers and just carry that around instead. So there it is, 120 push pins inside of this lock top snack container and there's still room. And with the cover closed, I don't have to worry about them spilling around or them poking me. How easy and convenient is that? So the second use that I have found for these lock top snack containers is to contain my elastics. I always keep my hair up and especially at school since I work with young kids and so I don't want my hair flying around in my face or anything like that and so I'm always carrying elastics. And here they are inside the container fitting so nicely and this way I can guarantee that I'll have a lot of elastics just in case I need them. Here it is all contained in the container. I always get a lot of flyaway hairs and so these bobby pins are really, really essential for me to have. And this goodie pack of 50 bobby pins came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But yes, I am always in need of these and for some reason I'm always losing them. So having them contained will be good for me. And there they are with lots of room to spare. Now hopefully I will not run out of bobby pins and I'll be good to go guys. The fourth item I've thought of are cotton swabs. Don't you need cotton swabs every once in a while? Or maybe at school, you might have the students do projects using cotton swabs. And so I decided to go ahead and place these inside of the containers. And they fit so perfectly well inside. And there you are, cotton swabs. Now, the fifth item that I thought of to contain in these containers are dominoes. And I found that 10 regular sized dominoes fit really, really nicely inside the containers. Now, if you're like me, I have my students do addition problems using these dominoes. And it's perfect because I only have them do 10 at a time. And for instance, if you see this domino on the top right here, there are two pink dots on the left, so that'd be two. And then there are three green dots on the right, so that is three. So my students would write down the addition problem, two plus three equals, and the answer would be five. They might know it or they might have to add the dots. It doesn't matter, but it's a really, really good fun way for the students to learn how to do some addition and get some practice going. So here are the 10 dominoes inside of the containers and they fit nice with room to spare. Having the dominoes already set in there, the students just have to pull one of these containers and do their own work on their own. For idea number six, I decided to place my crayons for my students inside of each container. And did you know that this container fits a 24 pack perfectly it does so here are the 24 crayons inside of this lock top snack container and it fits perfectly so yes putting crayons in here is what i do every year and my favorite use for these containers another favorite use for the containers is to contain dice and i have here this 10 pack of dice that i got from the dollar tree and i like to put them inside a container and that way when we do use dice in our classroom, 
I can just put one container on each table and there's enough for five people because everybody gets two dice each and then we like to use a dice for addition problems as well. Student rolls two dice and if they come up with a three and two, then they would write down three plus two equals five and if they couldn't figure it out, they could have just added up the number of dots. Really easy and fun for the students and they think they're playing. So here they are, 10 dice inside of the container with room to spare. And there they are. It makes it so easy to pass out dice during class time. Next up is a pack of playing cards. I mean, you could do this at home, at the office, at school. We use these playing cards at school and I remove the ones with the pictures on them. And then my students just basically pull two cards and they do addition problems with them. Again, it's another way for my students to practice and think they're having fun because it really is fun. So as you can see, it fits a deck of cards perfectly with room to spare. There you go, and that way you never lose a card. Next up, I like to use them to hold counters for each student. Now normally I would put in double-sided counters, but I could not find them. They're actually at school right now, so I don't have them. But I had these, so it gives you the same idea. And usually I'll put 20 counters in there, and then that way my students can work on adding and subtracting it up to 20. And as you can see, it's easy to fit all those pieces. You could even go higher if you wanted to. And there they are, ready to pass out, already counted. Now if you're like me, you might have had some mishaps with your clothing. Perhaps something ripped or a button came off, and you need a quick fix. Well, that's when a little sewing kit comes in super handy. And usually I like to include safety pins and little extra button, needles, thread, little scissors, a thimble, something to cut, and also a little measuring tape. Everything fits inside of my container, which I'm so pleased with actually. Wow, it looks really cute inside. I like it. Speaking of emergencies, you ever come across a time where you end up getting like a hangnail or a splinter or you break a nail or something like that? Well, I figured that it'd be awesome to be able to have a little emergency kit for just those situations. And so I like to carry a little emergency bag with me and I included like a nail cutter, tweezers, a little scissors with a sharp point a nail file, and of course a pocket if bag. If you take a look, everything fits inside perfectly. How nice is that? There you go, everything is small, compact, and it's so useful. So if you have your own kids who are learning how to count money, or you have students in a classroom like I do, I usually like to put a certain amount of coins inside of a container, and I like to label the container, and then I have my students either group the coins or count them and add them up and then by knowing what number container they have i know what the answer is supposed to be right away and that way i can tell if they are actually adding it right or not and it's a really really good fun way for the students to learn about money so here are the play coins inside of the container and as you can see there is a lot of room in there and here they are all contained Another item I like to put inside of these containers are these magnetic letters, and I do numbers as well. So if you have a student who's actually learning the alphabets, you could put the whole set of alphabets in there and have them place it in order. And also, if you have students that are older and perhaps learning how to spell words, like CVC words and things like that, um, then I would put the letters in for the words you're using. So if I was going to do sit, cat, hat, mop, I'd put the letters for all of those words in there and then have them spell them out. And the great thing about that is that if they don't use up all the letters or if they're missing letters, then they know that they haven't spelled the words right. So it's a way for them to kind of self-check at the same time. And so I love doing that and 
This is one of my favorite ways to use these containers. By the way, I forgot to mention that I got these magnetic letters from Target's Dollar Spot for a dollar. And you can see they fit perfectly inside. So here they are and they fit with a lot of room to spare. Now another item I like to put inside of these snack containers are mini erasers. I got these really cute mini erasers from Target's Dollar Spot for a dollar. And it's a 60 count, so there's a bunch of them. And I like to use this with kids because they can count with them, they can use them to add or subtract, they could use them as game pieces, or you can just give them away to people. They are just so cute and fun, but since there's so many and they're so little, it's nice to keep them contained in one little container. So here are all 60 erasers, and as you can see, I could probably fit another set in here if I wanted to. Or if I really wanted to, I could just get them up to 100 and have my students count to 100. Or if you have kids, just have your kids count to 100. And what a safe and secure way to contain your mini erasers. Now, I don't know about all of you, but sometimes I like to drink tea. And so I like my tea with honey and sugar sometimes. So it's kind of a mix, depends what I feel like. And so on those days, it's nice to be able to have my little packs with me ready to go instead of carrying on some big sugar bag or honey jar or whatever. So I thought it'd be fun to place this in a container so that I would have my little emergency stash in case I felt like drinking my tea. Take a look, I was able to fit my three teas, three packs of sugars, and three honey packs so nicely inside. Guys, look at that, I am good to go. Maybe I should pack four packs in there. Something else I always find I need are band-aids. And so I thought, why not add some band-aids inside of the container? And that way I'll be ready to go just in case. These little cute band-aids were a dollar and came from Target's Dollar Spot. And I thought that was so cute. And take a look, I fit all 20 band-aids inside with room to spare. Now, if I could only find those sterilizing wipes or those alcohol wipes, I would be set. How perfect is that? And as you can see, there is a lot of room to spare. If you have kids and you travel a lot with them in the cars or planes or trains, then it would be perfect to have this inside of the lock top snack containers because the container is small as opposed to having something as big as this. Also, if you're a teacher like me, then it's perfect to put inside of the containers and pull them out for students to use every so often. And if you take a look, all 72 of them fit nicely with room to spare, so it'll be easy for your students or your own kids to play with. And here they are, nice, cute, and quiet. And what about batteries? They come in packages like this, and once you open them, they all fall around. Why not go ahead and contain them in a container? A 10 pack of AAA batteries fits with a lot of room to spare. So you can definitely add in some double A's as well. And here they are nicely organized, but definitely you could add a lot more. By the way, did you get one of those letter boards from Target's Dollar Spot? Well, they come with all of these little letters or emojis or other symbols and they are just like all over the place seriously so here is one set of letters right there and as you can imagine you can fit a whole lot more so here are all your letters and pieces contained another idea i got from my friend is to put glue sponges inside of these containers basically you take a sponge and cut it to fit and once it's in the container, you go ahead and pour glue right on top of it, and then you keep it sealed. And in this way, students just dab whatever piece of paper they have to stick onto something else right on top of the sponge, and then place that wherever they're going to stick it to. And that way they are not pouring glue out of glue bottles and making a huge mess. And here they are contained. I've never done this, but my friend has, and she says it works really, really well. And there you go guys, 20 different ways to use these lock top snack containers that come from the Dollar Tree and I think they are amazing. So maybe now you can see why I love to use these containers and why I buy them every single year. And you might be thinking, why do I buy them every year? Why don't I reuse them? Well, the reason is I always come up with more ideas and I know as crazy as it sounds, I do let my students keep them at the end of the year for their crayons. I don't let them keep them for the other items, but I definitely let them keep the crayon ones 
because after a year, you know, they get kind of worn and they're crayon marks and all. Plus, you know, let them have something fun for them to take home. They've been using it all year. So to me, it's now theirs. Well, guys, I hope that this video has helped you to figure out maybe why you should pick up a few of these containers at the Dollar Tree. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching my video. I hope that you like it. I hope you share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, guys.